Hello, welcome to Prajim Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 16 of SQL Server. In this session, we'll understand how to use coalesce function with an example. Now, according to the MSDN books online, coalesce function returns the first non-null value. Let's understand what we mean by this. Now, if you look at this employee table here, we've got ID, first name, middle name, and last name columns. And if you look at these employees, some of them have just their first name, some of them have their middle and last name, and some of the employees have just their last name. Now, we want to write a query which pulls out the ID and the name of the person as you can see on the slide now when you pull out in when you pull out the name okay if the employee has got the first name you pull that out okay but whereas if an employee does not have a first name and if he has middle and last name then we want to pull their middle name okay and if an employee doesn't have first name and middle name and if he has only the last name then we want to pull their last name Okay, but whereas if an employee has both first and middle name, then we just want their first name. Similarly, if he has all of their names, you know, first, middle, and last names, then still we, we just want their first name. So the priority should first go to their first name. If that's present, pull it out. If not, then middle name. If first and middle name, both of them are not available, only then we pull the last name. Okay, so that's how our output has to be. All right, so in order to do that, we, we can use the coalesce function. Now, if you look at the query here, to the coalesce function, you're passing in, look at this, in the output, we want the ID and the name of the person. So obviously, in the select list, we'll have ID. And then to pull out the name, we are using the coalesce function. We are not saying first name, middle name, last name directly. We are passing those column names into this coalesce function. Look at the definition of the coalesce function. It returns the first non-null value. So what's going to happen when you execute this query, this coalesce function will check, OK, in this row, is the first name available? Yes, the first name available. So first name is not null. So it will immediately return Sam. OK, but whereas when it comes to the second row, it checks, OK, is the first name available? No, it's null. So what happens? It checks the middle name. OK, is middle name present? Yes. Then what is that? You know, it's not null. It's present. So it's going to return that middle name, which is Todd. Similarly, it comes to the third row. It checks, OK, is first name null? Yes, it is null. So it goes to the middle name. OK, is middle name null? Yes, it is still null. So it goes to last name. OK, and then return Sarah. So we get that. But come here to the fourth row. When it comes here, the first name itself is present. It doesn't even bother to check the middle name. OK, because coalesce function returns the first non-null value. OK, so Cole is first name, middle name, last name, and we are giving it an alias name from TBL employee. Okay, let's quickly write this query and see the result in action. So if you look at this, we exactly have the same table here, and we want to select their ID. So select ID, and what else we want? We want the name of the employee. Okay, but we want to use the coalesce function. So coalesce, what do we want? We want to pass into this function, first name, the middle name, and last name. So when we pass these three columns, whichever column returns the first non-null value, that value will be used in the output. And we want to give this column an alias. Let's call it name. And from which table are we trying to retrieve this? From the employee table, so TBL employee. So let's execute that. OK, so if you look at this, we get the output that we expected. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET and C-Sharp interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.